wonderful friends and welcome back to another what I eat in a week as a vegan video. I hope you are doing very well. To start with, we are starting with Monday, of course, and at 7.30 a.m. I had breakfast. This was the last day before we went and did our big grocery shop for the week. So I literally just had some Turkish bread with vegan cream cheese on as well as an iced chocolate. From there, I then had a snack at 11 a.m., which were some of these chocolate coated almonds with raspberry dust. I love them so much. And then at 1.30 p.m., I made some rice paper rolls. In my rice paper rolls, I put rice noodles, avocado, cucumber, and some chickpea tempeh. And then I made a homemade satay dipping sauce. And these were really, really delicious. From there, at 4.30 p.m., my housemate Kara decided to make some vegan scones. And oh my goodness, these were so delicious. We had them with some strawberry jam as well as some vanilla coconut yogurt on top. And then for dinner, I was feeling very lazy. So I just made a really simple tomato pasta. And then I served that with a little bit of bread. Moving on to Tuesday and it was an absolutely beautiful morning and I started my morning with a hot cacao which I just make with soy milk as well as cacao powder, maca powder, salt, vanilla and maple syrup. From there I also had a piece of toast with some avocado, hemp seeds and lime on top and this was a very delicious way to start the day. From there, it was 11.30 a.m. and I went on a hike with my friend Sophie, who is a vegan chef. And so, you know when you go for a hike and a picnic with a vegan chef that you are in for a good time. She made an amazing vegan pesto pasta salad and we had some kombucha, raspberry lemonade kombucha, as well as some brownies and some hummus and carrots and just so many good things. That kept me full for the majority of the rest of the day. And then for dinner, I made a vegan lentil lasagna uh, for myself and for Cara, my housemate who I love to cook for. And yeah, this was really delicious. I made a homemade cheesy sauce and a perfect way to end the day. Moving on to Wednesday. And I started my day by first of all, making my classic PB cacao smoothie and then I made a piece of toast with vegan cream cheese, avocados, hemp seeds, cherry tomatoes and a little bit of salt on top. As you can see I love a sweet and savory combo for breakfast. The best way to start the day. Alrighty, from there it was 12 p.m. and I decided to make some cookies because we were going to a friend's house for dinner that night and I always like to take dessert where I can. So I made my chocolate chip cookie recipe but I made them gluten free and refined sugar free and they were actually really really good. I was really impressed because I winged it on the spot but they turned out well and they were so good that I snacked on one of them before lunch. <laughs> then at 2 p.m. I had some lunch and I just had some rice with broccolini, which I roasted in like some soy sauce and sesame oil. Super delicious. Then I had some chickpea tempeh as well as spring onions and lime and some snow pea sprouts. And this, of course, was very delicious. From there, we went to a friend's house for dinner and she is an amazing cook. She made us some roasted sweet potatoes with broccolini and then also some sauté cauliflower, which was just divine. From there on Thursday, happy Thursday. I started my day with a quinoa porridge. I don't love making oats for breakfast, but I love a quinoa porridge and I decided to make a chocolate one. So I put some cacao and maple syrup and yeah, I dished this up with some coconut yogurt on top as well as some strawberry jam because we didn't have any fresh fruit in the house. And then I put some hemp seeds on top as well. Hemp seeds go on top of everything, you know? So why not? And yeah, this was a, a really nourishing and warm way to start a pretty chilly day on the Gold Coast. Then for lunch, I started first of all with some massaged greens that I massaged with avocado, as well as some rice. And then I made some homemade barbecue tempeh. And then I put some hemp seeds on top as well as some lime. A super simple lunch, but really nourishing and really delicious. 
Moving on from there at 3 p.m. I snacked on one of my cookies <laughs> because they were so good so of course I'm gonna snack on a cookie if it's in the house you know and then from there at 7 p.m. I made a curry. I've been experimenting with different cuisines uh, with my cooking and this was so delicious. I was very, very impressed with myself. It was a sweet potato and chickpea curry and then we served it with some rice and then we also put some coconut yogurt on top as well as some snow pea sprouts. Uh, I'm definitely going to share the recipe for this sometime soon because I absolutely loved it. Alrighty, so Friday I was feeling like pancakes, so of course I made myself pancakes to start the day. These, uh, I used a recipe by Liv B. I don't know if you guys follow her on YouTube. If you don't, you definitely should. These pancakes were amazing, so I will link it down below. And I topped them with some coconut yogurt as well as maple syrup. And then I also had some lemon with it as well. Lemon on pancakes is just such a divine combo whoever invented it props to you so delicious okay moving on from there and at 10 a.m i had my hot cacao uh which you guys know that i am loving my hot cacaos at the moment and this was really delicious and really warming then at 1 p.m i got hungry for lunch and i was feeling like some really fresh tacos so i just had some salsa with some cos lettuce and then i had cherry tomatoes guacamole chickpeas snow pea sprouts spring onions all the good stuff this was a really really nourishing meal as well and then for dinner that night i made something that i am absolutely loving at the moment which is pumpkin and coconut soup I'm obsessed, it's so filling and so warming and I am just obsessed with it. At the moment, I'm working on perfecting a recipe so I will definitely be sharing it with you soon and I topped it with some spring onion for a little bit of crunch. Alrighty, moving on to Saturday. And I was really hungry when I first woke up, so I just had a little PB and cacao smoothie before I got into making breakfast. For breakfast, I decided that I wanted to make like a blat sandwich, B-L-A-T. <laughs> and so I made some homemade rice paper bacon, which is one of my favorite things. Then I got this fresh sun-dried tomato and basil bread. Oh my goodness so good and i put on some smashed avocado and then from there i also added on cos lettuce i was making two by the way one for me and one for my housemate i then put on some cherry tomatoes as well as my homemade rice paper bacon and then from there i also put on a little bit of vegan cream cheese and those were my blats as i like to call them a really really delicious way to start the day Moving on from there, that kept me hungry for quite a while, but at 1 p.m. I had this vegan ice cream sandwich in my freezer and I was like, that needs to have its moment right now. So I had a vegan ice cream sandwich, a chocolate one, uh, at like midday, very random. And then at uh, 5.30 p.m. I got hungry for dinner. So I just used some leftover pumpkin from my soup to make like a cheesy sauce with some cashews. And I had a cheesy pasta for dinner that I just topped with some cherry tomatoes as well as some roasted chickpeas for a little bit of extra flavor and extra crunch, as well as some sun-dried tomato and bread. Moving on to Sunday and Sunday morning I woke up and I did not know what I was in the mood for so I ended up making some breakfast muffins which were vegan and refined sugar free and I put oats in them as well as frozen raspberries and then I topped them with some chocolate chunks and baked them in the oven and I ended up just having one of these for breakfast. I wasn't super hungry slash didn't really know what I was in the mood for so that's what I had for breakfast but then after that my housemate Cara and I went to try a vegan cafe on the Gold Coast and she got a vegan chicken burger with fries and then I got uh, some nachos that had like a black bean tomato filling and a cashew cheese sauce and guacamole and snow pea sprouts so yeah that was a really 
nice way to spend the Sunday going out for lunch that kept me full for quite a while but then at 4 p.m. I picked up some of these chocolate coated strawberries which I am currently obsessed with <laughs> and I had those while we were in the car on the way to dinner for dinner we met a couple of our friends to have a pizza picnic and I got this really yummy focaccia with vegan cheese as well as tomato and basil my goodness, it was so delicious. And that was just a really, really beautiful way to end the week and to end this video. <laughs>